Don't touch anything, please. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared, but I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention, but I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazis company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype. 
and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damned train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you travelling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received a telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed, so I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable! The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot! You will pay for it! I will sue you! The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Railway post bags.
a handcar wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear? Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. A telegraph. I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up! Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Wake up, please, huh. sir. What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. Oop. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty.
You were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? This bin is full of empty bottles. A fishing advertisement. Lock. There is no sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Railway post bags. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. were recently dragged here. French wine. A remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. <laughs> 